recognizes you from the bridge. You were walking up and you were walking the other way. That is kind of funny. And you must be Carlia, correct? Well, this one... <sighs> this one had an interesting chat with your archmage, but this should help. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Okay. Hmm, don't worry, I forgive you for shooting me, I think. Hmm, this is intriguing, but highly disturbing. Oh? It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Oh. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Oh. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus Ooh. seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. I don't... Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. <sighs> Besides, I'm the one who did all the work, but... <laughs> Thank you. Get your thieving hands off that! Well... Sorry. Uh, this one kind of thought it was just, uh... There. Hmm? My apologies. You have committed oh. crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Ah. Uh... I say Khajiit was just about to put the book back, and, uh, is really not worth the trouble, you know? All right, all right. Just keep your voice down and don't let me catch you again. <sighs> My apologies. Was this... Was this college property? Because if so... I, I was I was honestly just about to go take it up to the Archmage, considering that he kind of has a thing for Falmer stuff, it seems. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now, this one has questions. What is this about the Twilight Sepulchre? Hmm? <sighs> I will ask you later. Is there anything else, or was that it? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Okay. Zaytest will do her best and offers you thanks, Mr. Enthir. And, uh, you may want to thank the Archmate when next you see him, because he is the one who, uh, kindly didn't translate the whole thing. We wouldn't want him knowing about this, no? If you ever manage to gain entry to the college and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Ooh. Hmm. Well, considering that, the uh... that, that intrigues me. May I ask why Gallus decided to write his entire journal in Falmer? That seems a little bit... peculiar, to say the least. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, mm -hmm. 
I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Well, that's a bit of a... Uh... Hmm. Where did he acquire the... Uh... How did he learn this language? It's kind of... I was under the impression that it was kind of a lost language and that maybe only... Your archmage and the librarian knew about it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. This one entirely forgot about Calselmo. Well, it's a good thing I didn't have to go that whole way, huh? Hmm, perhaps this one should pay Calselmo a visit just in case. Anyway. What can you tell Gallus? Ooh, what can you tell Zaytas about Gallus? My bad. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. Oh. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, it seems all of us get unlucky sometimes. If he was an academic, why did he choose such a strange and weird path? Well, for the thrill, of course. Ah. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah. how, did, how did you meet him? Gajita's curious. <laughs> ah, yes. Quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. Oh. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. Hmm. I was astounded, and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Hmm. This one hopes that she could possibly be friends with, uh, with you as well. Or if not, then perhaps your archmage? He seems rather... I don't really know how to describe. He seems very glowy and kind of cool. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. Okay, 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 okay. And what about you? Hmm? We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. <sighs> that doesn't sound like a very good idea, frankly. Okay, think about this for just one second, right? That place is probably a stirred beehive right at the moment. I don't think charging back in right now, considering that st I would help you, but considering the state that I'm in... Thank you. I don't think it's a good idea. But perhaps we could investigate this Twilight Sepulchre that the journal mentioned? You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Ah, uh, Why does a temple require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Uh-huh. Uh, thieves and temples. This strikes me as a bit weird. Although, I suppose temples to Bandar would be probably guarded by thieves, no? I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. Uh, Possibly? There's quite a lot here that Zetas does not understand, however. Uh, for instance... What Rajin's name is Nocturnal, and why is she important to all this? As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Okay. The test will follow your lead for the moment. You are the senior thief after all, and... I do kind of fear your arrows. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. 
See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. That In strikes meantime, me as a better idea. I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. Hmm? Uh, Zaytest will try to put it to good use. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Oh! Oh, it... Taking uh, me up on my offer, eh? Ye. Good. What offer? Yikes. Very much yikes. And... Whoop, 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 there. This seems... Ooh! This seems a bit heavy for the test, no? Well, perhaps. Actually, this one has a much better idea. Although... Hmm... Perhaps she should keep it a secret for now. No? Oh. Uh, we were having this conversation with her in the room. Zaytas does not know if we can trust her. How asleep is she? Hello? Oh, okay. She is pretty asleep. I am not too worried. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This one needs... Uh-huh. Oh. That's awkward. This one requires... Assistance. Uh... Uh -oh. Whoa, I oh. was chasing my tail. I am glad it made the trip with me. Good to see you, by the way. Oh, Inigo, you scared me. You scared me a lot, my friend. What is on your mind? Oh, I have Are much to tell to you. Are you going to join me? Take a seat. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, Inigo. Rajin Kodesh, it, I, I am so sorry for leaving you in Kynes Grove. I should not have. It was a mistake. I almost died. <sighs> oh, hello. Don't mind us. We are just two kajit having a drink. No. I think she's onto us. We should probably get somewhere warmer, no? Oh. What is on your mind? <sighs> Any thoughts? If you want to have a chat, maybe we should take a seat. My tongue wags more when I am not using my legs. Okay. Well, we were sitting. You know where I am. Do not forget about me, please. Yeah, no Shall kidding. we take a seat or are we leaving? If we could take a I'm seat. I'm right behind you. That would be quite nice. Oh, I forgot you had that armor. Ugh. You would not believe. Okay, let us have a seat so that your tongue can wag and mine can wag and we will not use our feet, no? Okay, so here's what happened. I went in with... Uh, Alright, you know I was in the Thieves Guild, no? I told you about that, right? That and the Brotherhood? <sighs> I assume so. So, here's what happened. I went into this place with Mercer Frey, whom I thought was on my side. And it turns out he is definitely a traitor to the entire organization, and I should not have trusted him. And instead, he used me as a meat shield, because Carlia is good at poisoning people and he was not wanting to get poisoned. So, here we are. I instead got shot by Carlia using a dosage that was meant for him and not me, and thus I nearly died. But... Are we... Are we sitting? I suppose not. Okay. But... 
Ingrath? Cayman? Um... Red? Uh, I, I assume you two have met, no? I see no harm in telling you because you are very loyal to me. I trust you with my life. I can summon you. So, presumably, I could uh, dispense with you if you knew too much. Um... So, the Bosmer friend that I have told you much about... He came and pulled me out of this mess. And, and took me to a little place. And then apparently tracked down the Dragonborn who saved my life and healed me up. The Dragonborn, being that red guard that we ran into after we got smacked by werewolves back in Falkreath. Could you believe it? Hello, Inigo. Mm-hmm. Are you awake? What time? If you need anything else, just ask. I, I must have woken you up. I'm very sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's how that happened. Uh, and this one thinks it's not the best idea to go back to Riften right now, considering everything that just happened. So, uh, and also this one is considering changing her face and possibly getting some new armor since... She does not know if Mercer has eyes places the same way that, for instance... <sighs> well, we don't know if she has... She? If he has someone like Ingrath on his side? No? That would be bad. I would not like to get tracked down by an assassin mercenary person and, you know, shot again. Three times would be too much, and I apologize for bringing that up again, but we should probably go. I'm thinking, and I know you hate it there, but I'm thinking that Windhelm might not be the worst idea. I would suggest we hide your face somehow, too. But your tail is pretty blue, so. Although, if Mercer assumes that I'm dead, perhaps he will think that you just kind of ran into some random caravan and picked up a stray or something. I don't know. I'm rambling. I almost died. I'm very scared and I missed you. Anyway. Hmm. Whose horse is this? Ah, hello. That was very, very strange. Ooh, storm cloak. Aha! So, does it work better or worse if I keep my hood down? What can I do for you? I'm trying to imagine this place in happier times. I guess most of what it was is at the bottom of the Sea of Ghosts now. Ah, uh, uh, You are lost in your own thoughts. This one had not considered that, but... Okay, she has things to tell Let you. Let's go. Yes, okay. Oh. Uh, yes, this one is still kind of slow. And it's cold out. Screw that. Okay. So. Uh... I apologize if I'm moving a bit slower than usual. I'm still feeling a bit groggy from having been, you know, pff, nearly put to sleep permanently. Uh, this one does not necessarily want to handle poisons anywhere, anytime in the near future, considering. Blah. Blah, I say. Uh. Alright, hello Azura. Um, so, this one was, uh, she went to go see the Archmage of Winterhold, if you can believe it. The Archmage of the College, specifically. No? Okay, so, turns out, he's this... Uh, what's a good word? Okay, this one cannot find a good word in Sir Dilek. Nor in Agra, but he was this, this kind of... Uh, 
This one got a vibe about him, you know? I don't know how to describe... I'm just going to... That's why you stopped. Oh, boy. Hopefully this bear will leave us alone. Please. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Especially not wanting to deal with that since I'm wearing a, dr a dress and not armor. Although, North dresses are really warm. You see? They're made of, like, wool or something. And it keeps out the cold. Very, very nice. Especially when it's sunny like this. But, as I was saying, these are made. I kind of... I got a feeling about him, you know? Like, he might not... Like, he was probably a very, very smart man, but he was very, very... <laughs> uh, this one just got a feeling about him. This one perhaps thinks that Mr. Red also did, but he didn't really say anything about it. Anyway, so, uh, he could make his eyes all glowy. What did I start off talking about? I don't remember. Oh well. Perhaps I will remember on my way. Perhaps not. Uh. What? Ah. Hello? Oh! Uh -oh. Mr. Dragonfly is having a good time at the moment. He enjoys traveling with us very much. That is good. What in the heck is going on over here? Uh, this one must be still spacey from poisons and whatnot because she cannot remember what she started talking about with the Archmage doll. Other than... She went to go see the Archmage. And he was cool. So. What did I start talking about? Oh, hello. Hello, wolves. We're going around. This one does not want to... Uh, this one does not want to go this way either, because that's the toy. The toy lights up. The, 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 the ending place. Snow veil... Needles. Snow veil sanctum is a... Ouch! Okay. Okay. Here I go. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, no, 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 no. That was the wrong kind of potion. Crap! Okay. Ah, run, 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 run. <laughs> Come on. I am out of speed. Oh no. Oh, but this one would not give for Dragon Ball right about now. Or Carlia. Either one. Although, this one is not sure that poison works on these things. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Help! Woo! Help me! Pretty please. Ah. Oh, it's still coming. Help! Heal yourself, my friend. You are hurt. Okay. Healing. <laughs> Okay. Ouch. Oh, well, that didn't go very well, did it? Are you okay? You want to ask me something? 
Nope, I think we're good. Where's... I just realized... I don't know where we left Frost. That could be a problem. Oh boy. Okay. I need to retrace my mental steps. Because I really want to know what I was talking about. <laughs> I don't like getting distracted. Okay, it was before the dress. We had just come out. It was cold. We were talking about... Winterhold! <gasps> I remembered! I don't know what happened to Winterhold, but... Apparently, the Archmage kind of feels responsible for it and is trying to make it uh, not be half sunk into the sea again. That's where I was going with that. He said he felt personally responsible for it, so... Whether or not he actually just straight up sank Winterhold, I don't know. But he's trying to fix it, as far as I've heard. When last I left him, he was talking to my friend... Mr. Red. Mm, I wonder about those two. I do. I just had this feeling. I just have this wonderment about those two. <laughs> That would be funny, would it not? Although, this one is not sure how that would work. Considering so many things. Are you alright? You keep like tripping on stuff back there. Oh. Eh, he's just hungry. Okay. It probably is... Just about time for Kaji to be eating something though. Especially after getting hit by a bunch of... <gasps> Yay. It's so warm! Because he loves clam chowder. Yes. We need more information. Oh, excuse me. Make Working in Wendham is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Of course. And thank you for letting me use your forge. Well, us. Who's your forge? Ingo! Are you done over here? Yes, my friend. Okay, come on. I'm right behind you. So what did you make? 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 Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Okay. This one knows that you do not like Windhelm very much, but I think we're going to have to stay the night here. Hopefully it will be okay. Since you are here, you can protect me in case... Uh, somebody unfortunate decides to, you know, be unfortunate. Where's my... There. Okay. And... Bes okay. I was about to say, and besides, I need a room so that I can show you what I made. It isn't really much, but I have a thing that I need to do, and it will hopefully come in handy. We will see. Wait a minute. You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. What? Uh, pray tell, why do you hate the Dunbar? And why are you saying this to a Khajiit? You were not enslaved by Dunbar, were you? They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. Mm. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Kaji does not like your attitude very much. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you <laughs> came from. This will be fun, no? Kaji is glad she brought her punching gloves. All right. Fists only. And none of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Okay. In the go. Come if on. you could stay out of this, please. Let's see what you're made of. Well, that did not last long. 
And you are not intervening, my friend? That, back to the ground. that wasn't a fair swing. That was a perfectly fair swing. What, did Khajiit get you in the ear or something? Anyway, she won. The money is hers, no? Come on. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Someday we'll get to know that each other better. Well... Uh, okay. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. Need something. Uh -huh. This one does not much trust Altmer for obvious reasons. Ah, uh, greetings. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Actually, this one is after your room, if that's alright. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I thank you. This one is weary and needs sleep. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, and don't mi mind the drunk outside uh, or anything. <coughs> this one had a word with him. Uh, hello? <laughs> you could just tell me which room it is, that would be okay. Uh, this could take a while, huh? Okay. Anybody? Doo -doo -doo. Actually, I ask only for it's probably less conspicuous to be running around in a dress, no? Now where am I going? Um, I think I'm going to the. Grey quarter. <sighs> A few septims for my supper is all I ask. Hmm. I will come back for her. Oh, this place has loot. The divine smile on those who show mercy and charity. Not the right place, though. <laughs> Sneaky Kajit. Mm. This one wants it to be up here. <laughs> this one wants it to be up here somewhere very much, but it probably isn't. It's probably down there somewhere. Ugh. Yep. This one just realized that being a Khajiit thief in a place full of Norse is perhaps the most conspicuous thing I could possibly do. Where's my cloak? There. That will cover my fur a little bit. My tail, anyway. You're kidding me, right? Mm. Okay. Hello. This one does not know where she's going. Ugh. It's going to take me as much time to find the place as it is to. that sign. What, are you going to stand here and insult the Dark Elves? Oh good, you heard what happened to Rolf then. Yes, this is what this one thought. This one thinks it's just because there's a guard up there. Well, this is going to be... Tricky, isn't it? Hmm. Does this one have... Portions of invisibility? No. 
Ugh. Nope. Okay. Well, he's drunk. We shall save it. Nope. You can see. Oh, hello, guard. What do you need? Nothing. This one's just lost. Good. Uh, hello? 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 You need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Uh... You live around here, no? I'm a dark elf and I live in Windhelm, so yes. I live in the Grey Quarter. Ah. You must be new around here. Or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Mm -hmm. This one is very new. Take care, friend. Yep. All good. Oh, good. Oh, this one thought she could make that jump. She could not. Okay, we should give him a few minutes and then... Yes. Oh, actually this one should not sit on his wood pile. This one has heard that there's a north thing where if you sit on somebody's wood pile outside, that means you want in. Which, this one does, but not like that. Maybe it's an old north thing, north thing, they don't, I don't know. Uh, this one does not want to be out here alone. However. Okay, don't linger in a side street. That's a bad idea. We shall linger somewhere else. Ever since that Imperial Craven ran me through from behind, I've had trouble breathing. I don't have any trouble drinking, though. Oh! Well then, what the heck are you doing down here? Go get some sleep! Yeesh! Okay, when he leaves... That should be enough time. And now for the point of the armor. So that, ooh. so that none of these things drag everywhere. him. This one knows he came in here. But... Hmm. Ooh. Well, that's cool. Uh, potato. This one does not want to steal much from the Dark Elf in Windhelm. This just seems... Rude. Oh, there he is. Good. Bye. Hee <laughs> hee Sneaky gadget. Is that? Oh, good. What are you it doing here? It is good here? to see you again, my friend. I am not your friend. Do not call me your friend, and you get out of here. You like living in this filthy slum, dark elves? Maybe you should go back to Morrowind, where you belong. Dude. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh boy. 
This place reeks of gray skin filth. Mm-hmm. Get out of our city, gray skins. This is Nordland. Mm-hmm. This one is going to have a bit of fun with him, I think. Alright. Go back to Morrowind, dark elf maggots. You're not welcome here. We don't want your kind here. Dark elves. Come on up. Of course. in this filthy slum, Dark Elves. Maybe you should go back to Morrowind where you belong. Well, this is not quite well. Okay. What do you think you're doing? Did I get him? Reeks of gray skin filth. Nope. Okay, I think it might be time to run. Yep. Time to run. Oh boy. Do -do 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 -do. Need something? Yes, I need this man to shut up. Need to shut up. Ugh. I'm a sailor on the north wind. We're laying over in Windhelm. Farm work is hard work. It's good to relax when I can. But I still have to listen to my brother's harping about the future. 